Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China recently. AI computing has become a high energy consuming industry, and researchers are seeking ways to improve efficiency. Scientists from Tsinghua University have developed Taiji, a photonic chip that promised to supercharge artificial general intelligence, AGI, which, according to the researchers, is much faster and more energy efficient than traditional electronic chips. The name Taiji draws inspiration from ancient Chinese philosophy. It symbolizes the primordial singularity preceding the Big Bang, which divides itself into yin and yang, two complementary yet contrasting forces that ultimately brought forth everything. And this is what the scientists were inspired by. Artificial general intelligence, which aims to replicate human like intelligence in machines, requires substantial computing performance. However, traditional electronic devices, such as GPUs, struggle to provide the necessary speed and efficiency for complex tasks. Unlike traditional electronic circuits, Taiji utilizes integrated photonic circuits, harnessing the speed of light for processing information enabling them to be transmitted at extremely high speed and bandwidth, using much less energy than electronic devices. This advantage allows for superior performance and efficiency in handling tasks like image recognition, neural networks, and more. However, previous photonic computing architectures faced challenges due to errors and limited scalability, restricting their applications to simple tasks. And this is where Taiji comes in. This cutting-edge chiplet combines two advanced techniques, an integrated diffractive interference hybrid design and a distributed computing architecture. The integrated diffractive interference hybrid design means that Taiji cleverly combines diffractive optics with interference effects to process data using lights rather than electricity. The distributed computing architecture means that Taiji's computing power is spread across multiple nodes or elements, rather than being concentrated in a single processor. Most importantly, Taiji can handle increased workloads with large-scale data processing without any performance hits, and it maintains effective even under challenging conditions or potential failures. Taiji also employs a distribution protocol that divides large computational workloads into smaller subtasks. These subtasks are then processed in parallel across multiple Taiji chiplets simultaneously. This parallel processing approach enhances computational efficiency for intensive tasks. With these designs, Taiji can mimic the behavior of millions of artificial neurons and achieve an astonishing energy efficiency of 160 tera operations per second per watt. In other words, it can perform an incredible number of operations in the trillions per second while consuming very little energy. According to the researchers, the chips was more than a thousand times as energy efficient as the high-performance Novitas H100 GPU, a chip that came under the US government trade restrictions and is not available in China. The Taiji chiplet has shown its impressive ability through some remarkable accomplishments. For instance, it was able to accurately classify items into a thousand different categories with an accuracy of 91.89%. After being trained on image from a range of artistic styles, Taiji can imitate them. The team concluded in their paper that Taiji paves the way for large-scale photonic computing and advanced tasks further exploiting the flexibility and potential of photonics for modern AGI. Dengue and Zika are mosquito-borne viruses that cause millions of infections annually. Researchers in China have identified a specific type of gut bacteria found in mosquitoes that shows a remarkable ability to prevent them from getting infected. Meet Rosenbergilla YN46. When mosquito bites, Rosenbergilla YN46 springs into action, secreting a special enzyme that rapidly acidifies the insect's guts, scrubbing that tummy until it's so inhospitable that dengue and Zika and other viruses don't stand a chance. 
The Tsinghua University and Peking University Joint Center for Life Science in Beijing got their inspiration from mosquitoes in Yunnan Province, China. Yunnan Province is known for having disease spread by mosquitoes like dengue fever. But in different areas of Yunnan provinces, the outbreaks of dengue fever are different even if the climate and number of mosquitoes are similar. So the scientists wanted to know why some places experience more dengue fever than others. They also want to understand why mosquitoes from different areas can spread the virus differently. To figure it out, the scientists went to four places in Yunnan province starting in 2020. They caught thousands of female mosquitoes and studied them. They found variations in gut bacteria in mosquitoes caught in different areas, and this is likely due to the environment. And that's how they found Rosenbergilla YN46, a bacterium that was more prevalent in mosquitoes that come from areas with lower dengue outbreaks. So why did this happen? It turns out that Rosenbergilla YN46 produces a special enzyme called RYGDH. This enzyme makes the mosquito's gut more acidic, changing its environment. Previous studies have shown that the envelope protein of mosquito-borne viruses like dengue virus is sensitive to acidic signals. So this acidic defense system in the mosquito's gut ends up significantly reducing the mosquito's susceptibility to the virus. Having found the good bacteria, the research team came up with a plan that is to have more mosquitoes in the wild carrying this bacterium and become good mosquitoes that do not transmit the virus. Scientists then built an enclosure in Xichuan Batna and added the bacterium to the water where mosquito eggs were laid. They proved it could colonize the mosquito's gut at all stages of life, significantly reducing dengue infection in mosquitoes that were not used to carrying the bacterium. By introducing the bacterium into mosquito populations in dengue endemic areas, scientists hope to reduce the spread of these dangerous diseases. This approach could offer a safer and more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional mosquito control methods. A scientist from Tsinghua University said the biocontrol method is based on findings from nature and does not require medical interventions for humans, such as vaccines and specific treatments, that have not yet been developed. And that is all for today's Threshold. We hope you like this new section on science and technology in China. As usual, we welcome your thoughts and feedbacks.